Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This movie tells the story of a tough girl who always helps her friend who is being bullied. The bullies tried to get rid of her, but her karate skills made her invincible. Justice High begins by showing a girl named Cha Young who is being shouted at while being pelted with paper by her friends at school. Cha Young is known to have been expelled from school for fighting with a schoolmate. The scene then switches to show the atmosphere in the teacher's room where Cha Young and her father, Mr. Yang, are working on Cha Young's transfer to a new school. After learning that Cha Young was expelled from her old school for fighting, her homeroom teacher warns that the school will suspend students who are caught fighting. After taking care of her transfer to a new school, Cha Young sees a geeky young man named Jonggu who is being bullied by his friends. Jonggu is often bullied because he is always reluctant to give cheats to his friends. At first Cha Young doesn't want to interfere and wants to leave right away. However, when Jonggu says something about fairness to his bullying, she gets interested and approaches them. Cha Young purposely records the bullying actions of Jonggu's friends to make them angry. When they ask her to give up her cell phone, she refuses and they get into a fight. Cha Young can easily defeat Jonggu's bullies who are only big mouths, but cannot defend themselves. Jonggu, who witnessed Cha Young's prowess in martial arts, was stunned. The next day, when Cha Young first enters the new school, she turns out to be placed in the same class as Jonggu and his bullies. After school, Jonggu ventures over to Cha Young to thank her for her help the day before. However, with an icy expression on her face, Cha Young asks Jonggu to stay away from her, even pretending not to know each other. The scene then switches and shows a chaotic atmosphere in a diner when some thugs are reluctant to pay for their food. Jonggu then tries to warn the thugs to pay, but he gets bullied instead. The diner owner, who turns out to be Jonggu's mother, then asks the thugs to get out of there. The next day, Cha Young is visited by a girl named Saena, who is her upperclassman. Saena is about to make calculations on Cha Young for beating up her men. Saena, who had intended to bully Cha Young, was actually humiliated in front of everyone. Jonggu, who again witnessed Cha Young's courage in dealing with bullied students, then approached her again and asked her to teach him martial arts. Frankly, Cha Young refuses Jonggu's request because she doesn't want to get involved with him or anyone else. However, Cha Young finally melts when Jonggu says he wants to learn martial arts to defend his mother, who is often bullied by the thugs who mess up at her mother's diner. Cha Young then takes Jonggu to her father's karate dojo because her father is a karate martial arts coach. Mr. Yang is very happy with the arrival of Jonggu who wants to practice karate because it means his karate dojo finally has another student besides Cha Young after all this time. The scene then turns to Saena, complaining about Cha Young's presumptuous actions to the student council member, Ha Sung. According to Saena, Cha Young should be severely punished for humiliating her and trampling on the dignity of seniors at school. The next day, Cha Young is summoned to the student council room to meet Jin Hyuk, the student council president. Jin Hyuk then asks Cha Young about the fight that happened. However, Cha Young said that she was only defending Jong Gu, who was bullied by Saena's men at that time. Hearing this, Ha Sung, who was also in the student council room with Saena, then told Cha Young to leave because according to him, Saena's men were the ones who started the commotion. Back to Jonggu who is focusing on basic karate training together with Cha Young. Even though he felt pain all over his body due to the strenuous physical exercise, Cha Young kept encouraging him and as time went on, they became closer. One night, all the administrators and student council members are seen partying to welcome the return of a young man named Kong Sik. But Ha Sung looks uninspired and chooses to go out with Jin Hyuk. Not long after, they argue because Jin Hyuk decided to join the gangsters and Ha Sung doesn't like his decision. The next day, while at school, Jin Hyuk is approached by a gangster leader named Sang Jin. They hold a meeting in the student council room and discuss everything about the things Jin Hyuk will do after officially becoming a member of the gangster. Sang Jin also goes to Ha Sung and invites him to join him. But Ha Sung refuses the invitation because he doesn't want to be a delinquent. On the other hand, Jong Gu is again being bullied by his friends. But this time, he manages to fight off his bullies, which turns out to be just his imagination. Having not been able to fight them, Jong Gu was then a target. But then came Hasung trying to help Jonggu. At first Hasung can beat Jonggu's bullies. However, Kong Sik, famous for being fierce and good at martial arts, suddenly appears and beats Hasung. Cha Young sees Jonggu being bullied again, then helps him and it turns out that she can beat Kong Sik quite easily. Hasung is surprised to see Cha Young who can subdue Kong Sik easily then decides to practice karate at Cha Young's father's dojo. Unlike Jonggu, who wants to master martial arts to defend his mother, Hasung is willing to spend money on self-defense courses just to get close to Cha Young. However, Cha Young is cold to Ha Sung because he used to be part of the bully group at school. Ever since Jin Hyuk joined Sang Jin's group, gangsters have started taking over the school and harassing the students. With Kong Sik acting as the head of the delinquent students, they start forcing the other students to deposit money to the student council as tribute. Only Cha Young's class isn't required to deposit tribute because Kong Sik doesn't want to get into another fight with her. One day, Jong Gu, 
who has a high spirit of justice, cannot tolerate the actions of delinquent students who are bullying a geeky student. Although Jonggu has not mastered martial arts like Che Young, he is still determined to defend the student, even though he must be battered. After school, Jonggu then begs Mr. Yang to teach karate faster to defend himself and defend the oppressed. Mr. Yang then teaches Jonggu some karate moves and tells him to practice harder. On the other hand, Ha Sung is also increasingly practicing karate, even though he first came to the dojo just to get close to Che Young. Seeing Ha Sung's seriousness in practicing karate at her father's dojo, Che Young's attitude softened even more towards him and they became close friends. One day, Ha Sung takes Che Young and Jonggu for a walk. The three of them then went around the city while enjoying the scenery. Jonggu invites his friends to stop by his mother's diner and introduce them to his mother on his way home. Jonggu's mother is happy that her son is now more confident and has close friends. The next day, Ha Sung and Jin Hyuk get into a fight because Ha Sung is fed up with Jin Hyuk deliberately letting Sang Jin's gangster group bully the students at school. On the other hand, Jin Hyuk is also angry at Ha Sung, who he thinks has changed a lot and is acting holy, even though they used to often bully students at school. Jin Hyuk who can't accept defeat after Ha Sung beat him, then asks Sayna to harm Cha Young because he thinks that Cha Young is the one who has made Ha Sung change drastically. Not only that, Cha Young's presence also threatens his influence at school, so he has ambitions to get rid of the girl. Sayna who secretly likes Ha Sung then agrees to Jin Hyuk's plan to poison Cha Young. The next day, Sayna invites Cha Young to the student council room. She says she wants to apologize to her and offers her a cup of poisoned tea. Sayna then talks about Ha Sung. However, Cha Young looks indifferent and insists that she has no relationship with Ha Sung who is only a student at her father's karate dojo. Realizing that Cha Young is actually a good girl, Sayna can't bear to harm her and immediately slaps her hand when she is about to drink tea that has been mixed with poison. Jin Hyuk enters the room and sees that Cha Young is fine, then slaps Sayna because he thinks she's incompetent to do her bidding. Kong Sik and some of his henchmen then ambush Cha Young, then lock her up in the student council room. On the other hand, Jong Gu overhears the conversation of Kong Six men and finds out that they're keeping Cha Young in the student council room. Jong Gu then looks for Ha Sung and tells him about it. Ha Sung immediately called Jin Hyuk and he confirmed that he was holding Cha Young in the student council room and asked Ha Sung to come there if he wanted to save her. Ha Sung and Jong Gu then head to the student council room to save Cha Young. But they are confronted by Kong Sik and his men at the gym. Despite having to do their best to face Kong Sik and his men, Ha Sung and Jong Gu manage to beat them all. After that, Ha Sung and Jong Gu go to the council room and fight Jin Hyuk. Covered with bruises and almost completely drained of energy, Ha Sung and Jong Gu seem overwhelmed against Jin Hyuk. Ha Sung even lay down helplessly. Jong Gu, whose martial arts skills can't compete with Jin Hyuk, can only surrender when Jin Hyuk beats him to death. But as it turns out, it was all a ploy to free Cha Young. When Jin Hyuk's attention turns to Jong Gu, Ha Sung frees Cha Young and she immediately gets up to fight Jin Hyuk. It didn't take long for Cha Young to subdue Jin Hyuk. After Jin Hyuk gave in to defeat, the three of them then left the student council room. The film ends by showing Mr. Yang's karate is getting more and more students, so he has enough income to meet his and Cha Young's needs. Thanks for watching, subscribe for more.